When we need to find the inverse of rational functions, we clear fractions by multiplying by the LCD. Put the terms with y on one side and everything else on the other side. Factor out the y and divide to get it alone. First, let's substitute f of x with y y is equal to 2x minus 5 over x plus 3. Now we swap the x's and y's. This gives us x is equal to 2y minus 5 over y plus 3. Now that we've swapped, we need to solve for y. First, let's multiply both sides of our equation by the LCD, which is y plus 3. When we do that, the denominator divides with one of our y plus 3's, and we're left with x times y plus 3 equal to 2y minus 5. Now, since y terms are showing up on both sides of the equation, I'm going to need to distribute that x so all the terms with y can be brought to one side of the equation. I get xy plus 3x is equal to 2y minus 5. Now I see that I have a 2y and an xy term that all need to be brought to one side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 2y from both sides, and I'm also going to subtract 3x from both sides. This will allow me to rewrite the equation with all the terms that have y in them on one side. Now if I factor out a y, I get x minus 2 times y equals negative 3x minus 5. Now I'll divide both sides of my equation by x minus 2, and I now have y equal to negative 3x minus 5 all over x minus 2. So the inverse, or f inverse, of x is equal to negative 3x minus 5 over x minus 2. If we want to find the inverse of g of x, first I'll write y in place of g of x, and then rewrite my problem. With these type of problems, it's a good idea not to skip steps. Now I'll swap x and y, and I have x is equal to 5y plus 1 over 2y minus 5. This gives me everything equal to x. Now if I multiply both sides of my equation by the LCD, I get 2 at, sorry, 2y minus 5 multiplied on both sides of my equation. So now that I've done that, my denominator divides out on the right side of the equation, and I get x times 2y minus 5 is equal to 5y plus 1. 
again we have the same situation where we have a y term on both sides of the equation. Because of this, I'm going to distribute the x factor through the binomial and then isolate all my terms with y on one side of the equation. Now that I've distributed the x, I'm going to add 5x to both sides and subtract 5y from both sides. When I do that, I get 2xy minus 5y is equal to 5x plus 1. From here, I can factor out the common factor of y in both the terms on the left side of the equation. Now that I've factored out the y, I can divide both sides by what's left in the binomial, 2x minus 5 on both sides. So now y is isolated on the left hand side of the equation and it's equal to 5x plus 1 over 2x minus 5. Remember that this is the inverse function, so we would write it as f, or in this case, g of x. And since it's g of x, or in the original, it's going to be g inverse of x is equal to 5x plus 1 over 2x minus 5.